So I'm here to talk about the story of Gambit being a Wakanda. So, uh, so how to break this down? So, um, first of all, you gotta you gotta understand that Wakanda is not just a name. It's not just a culture. It's not just a group of minority. It's a consciousness. It's a minority melanin spiritual consciousness that has to do with the old age of history of of a conscious energy. It had to go way back in time to reincarnate itself and to create a tribe of civilizations of people who were then chosen elders who had to understand the um, deep importance of the crust of human evolution in society. And they bestowed upon these people, Nuwapians, who are um, members of uh, human life and they had to learn the ways of of the conscious mind so when we talk about Wakandans we're really talking about uh, minorities of African tribes who in our society who we relate to as you know, third world country, people who have no hope, they're not even in the discussion in our society. And just like in Wakanda, the MCU described them as a separate group away from everybody. And why? Because they had this vibranium, they had like Africa, they had beautiful lands and rich soil with money, but they actually were a group ascended away from the human life, like Tony Stark and those people, and they created their own tribe. And this tribe were righteous people of smarts of intelligence and of love and human nature and they grew their own foods they had their own community they had their own laws they had their own their own gods the one true god their own uh tapping into the spirit animals that was the panther which was their symbol of hope of of higher hierarchy of some sorts and this new uh Wakandans were not of this planet and they were from a different tribe of alien frequency ascended from a higher power and they were brought down to earth in consciousness through humans, through people and they lived on for a long time over and over again and they lived through what you call Wakandans and the story I'm talking about today is the X-Men character Gambit and just to express a little bit about Wakanda, the energy, how it works. A uh, Gambit was a lighter melanin uh, mutant, and he was a hybrid mix. And he actually came from uh, a Wakanda woman who was black, but fell in love with a man who was a mutant, but he had no real color. He was a shapeshifter. And what happened was... For some odd reason, their mix created an evolution of of human consciousness, of human of human life. And this consciousness that grew was Gambit. And Gambit is kind of symbolism of almost like a lone ranger, like a lone character, a Gambit, a bastard, a person that's gone away from, you know, stripped from his society to date a woman like Rogue, you know, Rogue Agent Solo, you know, uh, kind of interesting duo. But it almost, it shaded the same kind of characters of Black Panther and the Storm relationship that never worked. You know, Black Panther's ego, Storm's ego, leadership, both being like leader, leader Leos, start to work together. But Rogue and Gambit kind of being one of the same, but kind of fits. And if you notice, Gambit never found his place anywhere. And he came from the Savage Land era. He knows about that. He came from Genosha. And I believe in the Savage Land era was actually symbolism to Wakanda. That's what brought me down to my conclusion. That he is a Wakanda. Not only that, he exemplifies the power of the kinetic purple energy, which is the same kind of power we see in the Black Panther movies kind of being expressed there. So... I believe that Gambit is actually a conscious memory of a Wakandan old tribe of the first Black Panther. And with his power, he was able to grow 
his um, abilities to be a more stronger, resourceful human. Mutant. And being a mutant, he grew in nature and he ascended from his own mutant uh, DNA to be something more than what he was as a, a mutant. And he was actually a person with a lot stronger powers, but he never knew if his abilities would kill him or keep him alive. Because this energy that was living inside of him was almost like a combustion that he was always kind of weary of, weary of, because if he goes too high, he can actually kill himself with his own ability. Which is almost like a taboo thing. So yeah, I believe that Gambit is a Wakandan, ascended from a higher energy source that was then brought down as a mutant from the elders of Wakanda to lead the new mutants to a new change. Like, if a threat would come to Earth, like Thanos or Apocalypse from X-Men, that there would be someone to go against to fight it. 